An Apopka man shot and killed protecting his girlfriend while visiting a state park in Alabama. Deputies there say the couple was robbed at gunpoint and then the shooting. Fox 35 Stephanie Buffamonte spoke with the girlfriend today. His girlfriend wasn't ready to speak on camera, but I talked with her outside of her house today, and it was truly just heartbreaking. This is such a sad story, and she describes her boyfriend as her hero who died to protect her life. I keep you with me in my heart. You make it easier when life gets hard. Michaela Paulus is heartbroken. She shared this video of the simple, sweet, and silly moments of her and the love of her life, Adam Simji. She says this is a photo of them just one hour before they were held at gunpoint Sunday morning at Sheehaw State Park in Alabama. Adam was shot and killed. Michaela tells me they've been together for four years and loved hiking. They were on a trip just before the two UCF students were supposed to return to campus Monday. Michaela tells me while hiking, they saw someone waving their hands on a National Forest Service road at the park, claiming they had car trouble. She said they went over to try to help fix the car, but then the woman turned on them, pulling out a gun and started asking for money and their bank account numbers. Michaela says the woman shot Adam in the stomach area and Adam shot that woman in the leg, hurting her badly. She said Adam had a gun in his waistband that he took while they were hiking. Michaela says Adam stopped the gunman from hurting her, saving her life. This is a picture of another woman accused of being involved in the robbery. She ran off after the shooting, but has since been arrested by the sheriff's office in Alabama. The shooter survived and was airlifted to the hospital. Michaela tells me she took off her shirt and was holding it against his stomach to try to stop the bleeding, but said it took a little bit for paramedics to get there because they were deep in the woods and it was just too late. Stephanie Buffmonti, Fox 35 News.